This is News 8 at 11 a.m. Hello, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Nadia Iran. Poor filling in for Eric Connor. And I'm Stella Escobedo. Firefighters worked very quickly overnight to knock out a fire that spread from a nearby homeless encampment to a school. This happened at Paradise Hills Elementary, and the fire damaged three of their classrooms. News 8's Kelly Hesedal is joining us live from the scene right now with an update from a school official. You also have a reaction from parents, Kelly? Yeah, and as you can imagine, with everything that parents and students have been through with the pandemic, now a fire breaks out at their school. So take a look at the damage uh, left behind there. You see a worker right there uh, working nearby. Now, uh, investigators say the fire started in a homeless encampment and spread to the building. We talked to the interim chief operating officer here at the school, and he told us this. There's been a gentleman here that's uh, in, been in an encampment here for some time. Uh, he's been given notices to leave. He's been offered many services to help him. Um, it, it just seems as though uh, with the cold weather, he returned back here and uh, must have started a fire to keep himself warm. And we have video of what it looked like out here last night. Uh, the flames were told at one point were about 25 feet high. A neighbor shot some cell phone pictures. Uh, firefighters got the call just after 11 p.m. and they managed to get out here pretty quickly. They were able to prevent the fire from engulfing the whole building. Again, three classrooms were damaged. Now, the good news is school officials tell us today that it didn't impact the school schedule at all because the three classrooms, that is, uh, weren't currently being used for students. In fact, uh, there were already plans to rebuild them even before this fire. Uh, because they were outdated. So school did go on as planned today, but as you can imagine, the situation was a little nerve wracking for parents. Now, when one parent we talked to lives nearby. I thought it was a car alarm and then I saw that it was um, a fire when I opened the door. We live right behind the school. As long as the kids are safe, then that, that's all I care about. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see out here live what appears to be bedding that is charred out here on the street, uh, possibly from that homeless encampment. Now, other parents we talked to say they really weren't surprised uh, that this happened because they've known about a person who lives out here who is homeless. He's been out here for some time now.